this is the original quick fist uh, overland tool locking uh, clamps uh, they're rubber uh, pretty hard pretty durable um, I've got these on my uh, 2022 Ford Maverick um, and this is the extrusion overlanding rack um, I got this rack because um, you know we've got property uh, the North Carolina mountains and uh, you know, it's always good to have, you know, your tools on the side. Uh, being that the Ford Maverick has such a short, uh, short bed, um, I wanted to be able to put those tools on the outside. Uh, kayaks on top, but still have access to the bed in the rear. So these quick fist mounts uh, really help with that. Um, I've had these on my truck probably now for about uh, two months. Um, in those two months, I've had no issues. Uh, they're still just as tight. Um, they keep the tools very secure, and for the most part, I've, I've uh, really uh, been happy with them. Um, as you can see here, I'll bring the camera over in a second. Uh, I've oriented them all upwards, so that way, you know, in the event that, you know, something does get a little loose, there's really no way for it to come off. Um, they've got a quick uh, latching feature here where you just pull up on the rubber and pop off, and these various little slots or indentations in the top rubber um, to really hold that tool uh, securely based on you know whatever the um, the tools uh, diameter is of the actual shaft or the shank of the tool so overall uh, like I said I've been uh, pretty impressed so let me get you a closer look here so as you can see this is the quick fist I was just telling you about um, it's got these different indentations here for the different diameters of the tool that you're trying to secure um, it comes with this uh, plastic spacer but it does not actually come with the hardware to secure that to your uh, individual overlanding system so uh, what I did is I obviously just uh, went and got some stainless steel hardware I would definitely recommend some sort of stainless to prevent any sort of rusting issues and I've kind of just secured those in the back here with, hopefully you can see that, with uh, also some stainless uh, fender washer and uh, a locking nut. So um, overall, like I said, I've been very impressed with it. Um, and I've also been impressed with this extrusion rack uh, for the Maverick, which I will uh, probably do a review here with uh, after I've had a little more chance to um, gear it out and throw some kayaks on the back and you know so on and so forth so so i'm going to go ahead and put those tools on and show you guys what it looks like when it's all put together like i said i have these tabs facing upwards um just to prevent you know in the event that you know it does come loose which i really doubt it will um it's still going to be angled up and uh towards this tab so the pressure the weight the sheer weight of it will hold it tighter um so just to put it in, you know, I've got a, a Fisker's axe here. Um, just pushing it in, putting it tight, pushing it a little bit down and just kind of rotating it up. And as you can see here, it's already pretty snug. Um, without any of the tension from the strap, it's already kind of holding it in place just from those rubber clamps. Um, so I'm just grabbing both hands, putting it up, pushing it back over. And this is the, looks like the third detent still pretty secure. We do the same thing with the back, as tight as you want. And I'm on, looks like the fourth detent on this one. And I mean, that's, that's pretty solid. The only flex that you see is the actual uh, steel plates that we've got right here from the uh, extrusion racks. So there's that one. Add this uh, overlanding shovel that I got from Amazon. I'm gonna put this in, same way. Kind of just gonna roll it back a little bit get it on this one's got a little bit of a smaller uh shaft on it or shank so we're gonna get that underneath putting it back that one actually goes all the way to the back uh because it's a bit of a smaller diameter there um again i'm gonna put this underneath here all the way to the back tight and look this thing's still pretty tight even on a smaller shovel that's it that's my quick down and dirty on the uh original quick fist uh overlanding grips um i like them um i really wish they would uh 
put you know the bolting hardware but i understand why they wouldn't there's so many different varieties and uh i guess configurations for overlanding racks and bed racks that uh you know someone somewhere would be disappointed so um other than that you know i really like the product uh, it seems to be holding up really well um it's universal for anything and it's doing its job um and it really really works out great so I appreciate you guys watching and uh, stay tuned for more uh, Maverick Overland videos.